Inside of row number two, ready to go green flag racing out of turn number four, and here we are, first green flag of the night. The bugs are going to start buzzing early, working their way to the front. Tamar Keeble is going to work to the outside group here through turns one and two down to the inside line to zero. Lee Prater is going to get the whole shot down the back chute. Corner advantage is going to be to the zero of Lee Prater through turns three and four. And we do stay clean and green through lap number one. It is going to be a heavy, heavy racetrack all night long, and it is going to make for some great racing as we progress into tonight's A mains after our fireworks show during intermission. We've had a lot of rain over here at 105 Motor Speedway. But Mother Nature tried to do her best to ruin our 4th of July party. But just like Freedom, we will continue to keep on going. Randy Ward holding on, holding strong out front, not looking back, going to try to go flag to flag from the point. Zero of Lee Prater had a good corner entry into turns one and two, but lost that groove that he had working for him down the back chute, trying to gather things back up as right now. The laps begin to wind on down. We've got six down, two left, eight laps total distance. Ward, Prater, and Keeble, one, two, three. We're missing Kenneth DeBerry, Jaron Halsey, and Stacy Stinson did not make the start of this race, so they will be shuffled to the back for tonight's A main and our Outlaw Mini Stocks. White flag waving for the number one of Randy Ward. He's got two more corners left between he and a checkered flag at the 105 here for the first heat race of the night. Nice and smooth around the bottom of turns three and four. Coming on out of four down the front stretch. Make a little noise. One of Randy Ward. And here we are, it's gonna be a start out of turn number four, and the racing is on. And here comes Pry down the back stretch. Out of turn number two, it's gonna be led to charge by the 91 of Mark Herb. Jason Pena trying to hold on to that outside groove with Jesse McNorton in the 17M, gonna look down at the bottom of turns three and four. McNorton, gas and brake, gas and brake, fall control here, trying to get that car stuck around the bottom of the racing surface. And we do stay clean and green through lap number one. Flags halfway home. Mark Herb on the point. Holding on, holding strong. He's been fighting that number 91 all season long so far. But now it looks like he's got this car dialed in and digging. McNorton rocking the top shelf in turns three and four, running above the marbles, trying to pack something in for himself. Trying to get another groove working here on the racing surface. That's one thing when it comes to drive lines. Okay, excuse me, racing lines, is if you don't have enough people running different grooves, you're not going to have it blown off. So right now, if these guys don't start working a little bit wider here from the bottom, 
it may just be a one-line heavy groove until we see someone doing just what Jesse's doing in tonight's A main. Working their line in, packing it in, and then sending it as the white flag has waved on the 91 of Mark Herb. of Mark Erb, 77 of Jason Pena, and the 17 on Mr. Jesse McNorton. And chatter on the radio. Herb jumped the start, so the win's going to be the... Here we are, 42, Zane Goff hits the starting zone, and we are green flag racing. Goff and Comer are going to touch on the entrance of turns one and two as Goff slings it in. They're going to do a little tail tap. And now the back shoot, corner advantage is going to be the C7 of, excuse me, C3 of Chad Comer. And Comer pushed a little bit there in three and four. Had a better entry there in one and two. No push, smooth exit. Spot and advantage all in his own C3 of Chad Comer. Chad is the uncle of the C7 of Corey Neal Jr. He's made his way to victory lane several times. He's out traveling right now with old Dave. Devin Moran out across the Midwest having himself a very fun summer vacation. So when the nephew's away, the uncle's going to play. And so the mastermind, the crew chief of the C7 race team is in his own car tonight. And right now he is looking all right, all right, all right. We are four laps down, four more to go. Comer, Goff, and Estes. Again, this is the first race of the season for the 183 of Estes and the white and green Sport Mod down the back stretch into turns three and four we go. He's going to have a little pressure now with the 12 of Corey Babbitt. And Babbitt's going to work that inside line here on the exit of turn number two, trying to get something going for him here to work on a battle for position with Estes as it's two laps to go for your race leader. Keith Wright in the 41R was a DNS, did not start this one. Hopefully they can get that car back onto the racing service for tonight's A main as the white flag waves on the C3 of Chad Coomer. Four more corners around the quarter mile high banks here at the 105. Makes it smooth through one and two. Down the back shoot he goes. Rolling the tires in three and four for the C3. Put it on together for Chad Comer. And a turn number four. The green is up and the hammer is down. It's showtime. Marcus Black in the 751 trying to find a way around the 94 of JJ McDonald. He's going to be quick to throttle up in the middle of the corner trying to get that inside line before Downey and Bridges can drag race away. Going to the top shelves, the 41 of Chad Hughes. Hughes trying to peek into the inside of the 94 of McDonald. Hughes is going to get some grip and get on by. Two down, six more to go. Down he took advantage of being the outside pole sitter and Bridges followed him. Little game of follow the leader. Down here in kindergarten as we go roundy round in circles. Clean and green for lap number three. Racing service beginning to widen out a little bit more after we packed it before the last two heat races. Finding success still on the bottom though is going to be the 164 of Jason Downey.
flag has waved for the 164 of Thomas Downey. 4 6 of Bridges trying to change it in 3 and 4, not going to be able to. Checkered flag 164 of Jason Downey out of Pearland, Texas, getting the job done. Outside, here we are, green flag out of turn number four. Penny's diving to the bottom, trying to look to the inside of Susan, one and two, not gonna be there, shuffling to the back a little bit, the zero of Kevin Carl. Trying to make his way around on the outside groove, here comes the 41 of Willie Veach. Veach is no stranger to the quarter mile high banks here at the 105. As we do stay clean and green through lap number one, Lewis Harris holding on to that third place spot, but here comes a zero of Kevin Carl. Carl to the inside of the 44 of McIntyre, the zero four of Penny looks to give up the ghost and turns three and four. Of the start zone sets them loose and we are back green flag racing. Mark Asher in the 74 works his way by the zero of Kevin Carl. Carl and Asher are going to be a little wheel to wheel door to door here through one and two. Asher in the 74 with a great start on this restart lap. Works to the inside of McIntyre. Moves on up to the third place spot. We've got two laps down, six more to go here in your first IMCA Stars Mod Light Heat Race. Sue's on the point, battling for position right now. Mark Asher trying to work here with a 13L of Lewis Harris. After stripe is going to be the 74 of Mark Asher. Harris trying to gather it back up and get back into contention for position. But here comes a zero of Kevin Carl. Not even an opportunity as now he has his hands full with the minion man and the number zero. Mark Asher gaining ground. We could have ourselves a battle for the race lead as laps begin to wind down. Six down at the stripe, two more to go. Mark Asher within striking distance, looking down here to the bottom group of racing surface through turns one and two. Souza's gonna lose a little drive on the exit of turn number two. We're gonna be wheel to wheel, door to door. Coin flip, it's anyone's corner on entry, but it's gonna be the 74 on the exit. One more quarter mile around for the 74 of Mark Asher. Asher down the back chute. Rocks the tires and turns three and four. Put it on together. Heat race win, Mr. Mark Asher. Nolan sets the pace and we're set loose. Green flag racing and checkered flag chasing. On light heat race. Cars trying to shuffle their way around. 17 Buxton. He's gonna jump to that ounce. Excuse me, jump to that second place spot. Back's gonna be the B51. Battle for the race lead. Getting into the mix as well. Here comes the B51 of Johnny Brown Jr. Issues there looking to be for the 5-5 of James Nolan as he's pushing off pace a little bit. Your new race leader, though, is the B51 of Johnny Brown. But here comes Jeremy Buxton with a big move. And we're going to take him down to the infield as the 22 Facing him here from the bottom. Here we are, back underway. Dawson Fisher's going to get a great start down the front stretch and lead him down into turns 
number one and two for the battle with this second place position. Now the back shoot. Johnny Brown Jr., the B5-1, is going to edge out the 46. Three more to go. Seventeen B five one. Here comes Johnny Brown Jr. The bomber is coming. He's at full thrust on the throttle, and he is your new race leader. The B five one of Johnny Brown. So Johnny Brown had a little bit of work to do, started inside row five, excuse me, inside row number three in P5. That caution could not have came at a better time for him. And here we are, the white flag waving for Johnny Brown. Brown's going to take the bottom of the turns one and two. Down the back shoot we go. Brown trying to get a little bit of Lady Luck on his side. This may be the weekend with some help of Lady Liberty as far as Lady Luck goes. And the B-5-1 takes the checkered flag. Johnny Brown, Jr. Good pace here in the front row, keeping them together. Green is up. Here we are chasing the checkers for the first time in the factory stocks. 116 of James Bryant trying to help the 131 of Singletary get a little move along. Singletary is going to go high on the exit of turn number two. Bryant is going to get on by. We do stay clean and green through lap number one. Throttle control is going to be the one to get it done right now with a racing service still working on coming in for these asphalt pull-offs. 44D of Smith trying to work to the inside line of the 116 of James Bryant. Bryant had a great start trying to get by the 131 of Singletary early. And now Bryant with his hands full. Dawson Smith of Crosby, Texas, and the old 44D, red and white, against the yellow and red 116 of Bryant. Brian's got the corner entry to block that bottom line from the 44D. And we've got six laps down. Two more to go for the 5-0 of Josh Ellender. Fifth, excuse me, 44D of Dawson Smith once again. But a good run here in turns one and two. Bryant holding on just by, we'll say, the thread of a rope. One little mistake would cost him the position as Smith is right there on him. White flag is waved for the 50 of Ellender, but the battle right now is the key when here in the second place spot. It's been shaping up. The pressure has built and will it break right now? Checkered flag, 50, Josh Ellender holding on out of turn number four. That it will, 44D of Doss and Smith. Dick Thompson sets the pace, and here we are, green flag racing out of turn number four. 
Jason Pena Jr. is going to go way high into the marbles. Not going to find any grip. And shuffle back a spot there with the double zero of Moffitt Coon. Big battle here already shaping up for the race lead. 193 of Phillips Seals is going to look down to the inside group. 126 is going to hold him on. Clean and green at lap number one. Isaac Thompson is going to push in the entrance of one and two. And he's going to give up the spot. Open the door wide. There was no way he's going to be able to close the deadbolt on that one. 5-1, Daniel Seals charging now, already making it into the second place spot. He started inside of row number three in P5. And issues there for the 126. He may have a broken shock or something, causing him to all of a sudden be pushing in the corners on entry. He's not really driving it very hard. It's just not really turning at all. So he can't really say he's pushing up the track, but we can say that the four of Kenneth Montgomery is working his way up down to the inside. He's going to get spot and advantage in the third place position from the 126 and the Liberty, Texas, Isaac Thompson. Four laps down, four more to go. Cross flags halfway home. And right now, Philip Seals out of Shepherd, Texas. He's got a victory lane trip here already. Good battle shaping up here in the back of the pack with Jason Pena Jr. in the 00 of Moffitt Coon. Trying to peek to the inside of Pena. Two drivers, not a lot of experience. That's a use of a chrome horn right there. Or should as the 88 of Jason Pena Jr. is going to pull it on out. White flag, 193 of Philip Seals. Racing service coming in a lot nicer for these factory stocks at heat race number two. And here we are, 193. Bottom of turns, three and four, and here we are, checkered flag waving for Philip Seals. Number four, and here we go. Riffo goes out for another league. It's Nadal holding on a second. Way up here with that 45. Oh, well, he's got all kinds of problems right there. Some kind of issues. The 45 of William Krebs. Looks like he got a Russell Wartman, Bob Sack at the flag stand. William getting the worst end of that. 911, Nathan Riffo now leading the dog, leading the pack. Round and round we go. Nathan Riffo with the 911. We've got three down and five more to go. As the birthday girl, Nadal, holding on to second. Keith, Manny Rooster Wardman, holding on to third. Pop all there in the 47, in the number fourth position. As we speak to number four, we're halfway. We're four down, four to go. But now I'm one one of Nathan Rickrow, still out in front. Nadal. Still in second, nothing has changed. He's hanging with Nathan. He's hanging out in there tight with that 911 car. Manny Rooster. Uh oh, we got a caution. And the three we go, looking for the green, here we go. Ritzo, jumping out in front. Manny Rooster. Trying to hold on to that second spot. A good race between him and Nadal. Door handle to door handle as they come out of turn number two. Nadal with a slight advantage as Rooster goes high on the side. (laughs) 
Rizzo, Bill with the advantage. Nate Law holding on to second, now Rooster Woodman. Bill holding on to third. The plane flies are waving. We've got two more to go. A half a mile left in this heat race for the Pure Stock. A good race up front between those top three cars. Watch that 21, though. He's still back there. Right flag waving. Last chance left. Ripto. Nato. And the 21, Cocker. Trying to make a race out of it. He takes over third and they come out of turn number two. And coming to the checkers. It will be the nine, one, one, Nathan Rutherford. Rutherford, where's your winner? Nadal finishes second, and Keith, Bandy Rooster Wartman, about a half a wheel well, finishing. Here we go. The deal bugs jump out in front. Randy Ward, Lee Prater, down the back straightaway. Into turn number three. Coming out of four, we will complete circuit number one. That's Tamara. And that number four car, he's hanging in there with that zero. Tamara hanging in tight. Randy Ward putting that real estate between him and Lee Prater in a zero car. Two laps have been completed in the record book. We still got 18 more to go. Cheyenne. <laughs> Randy Ward in the ace. You can see you, girl. Lee Prater in the zero. Pamela Kiba holding on to third in that number four car. Four down and 16 left. Randy. Kind about a half. Uh, just about a full straightaway lead on the nothing car of Lee Prater. Randy Ward, Lee Prater, Tamara Graham, Tamara Keeble. Still your top three. 14 laps left. The sixth is Stacy Stinson. Randy Ward, still your leader, way out in front. A full now straightaway lead on the second place. Lee Prater in the nothing car. Tamara Kiva still keeping pace with Prater. She is trying to find a way around that zero bug. But so far, unsuccessful in doing so. And Randy Ward keeps stepping on out. He's moving on up to the east side. You know what? Hello, don't quit my day job. Randy Ward in the number one. The zero of Lee Prater. The four of Cam Tamara Akibo. We're coming up on halfway. We're 10 down, 10 to go. As Ward with a commanding lead. Tamara still trying to find a way in that number four car to get around Lee Prater in the nothing bug. She hangs in with him, but can't find a, uh, a key to the front door or the back door either. As Randy Ward Push Stacy Stinson down a lap in that 6S. Now, just about a half a track lead for Ward. Mm -hmm. 
Ward, Prater, and Keeble. That's still your top three. With Stinson rounding out the field. This is our sportsman class, our feature of the evening, our first feature of the evening. We still got seven laps to go. And Randy Ward, way out in front, a full half a track lead. On the second place, Prater. We're coming downhill now as Randy Ward comes to the check the flag stand. We've got five laps left. Five more turns around for Randy. Lee Prater, Hammer or Kibo, still your top three. They're trying to put the, the 6S of Stacy Stinson down a full lap behind all the rest of the field with four laps to go. Prater makes the pass. Oh, Stinson, whoop, 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 don't hit him, don't hit him. So all the one car. And now Keeble goes by Stinson. Randy Ward in the number one car. He is coming up on the twice flags. A half a mile to go for Lee Pr for Randy Ward. Lee Prater. A half a track back. As he now crosses the flag stand. Prater and Keeble. Randy Ward. Right flag waving. Last chance lap right here. Prater and Keeble and Stinson, the complete field. And coming to the checker, it will be the number one, Randy Ward. Ward, where's your winner? Randy Ward was your winner. Lee Prater will finish, will finish second. And the show card, Tamara Keeble. She had to settle for third. And here we are, street stock racing, checkered flag chasing for the night. Amen in your outlaw street stocks. Drag race, Jason Pinion, Jesse McNorton. Here comes the 91 to Mark Herb looking to the inside of Jesse McNorton. Front holding on, holding strong, Jason Pena. We've got two down, 18 more to go for the Outlaw Street Stocks. And Jesse McNorton, old J Mac, and that 17M trying to reel in 77. Holy moly, but here comes 91 of Mark Herb. Mark with a good run and turns one and two. Gets to that inside quarter panel of McNorton down the back shoot. Corner advantage is still going to stay to the 17M of Jesse McNorton. And sometimes you speak too soon. Mark Herb gets it done, the exit of turn number four. Can he hold on and hold strong, complete the lap? In case we go back a lap, it will be McNorton in that second place spot. And at the stripe, yes we do. Seventy-seven. And Jason Pena has had a season of hard luck in this outlaw, outlaw street stock class, and right now he's got it sewn up with six down. Can he hold it on and keep on making the stitches tighter? As we've got thirteen more to go. Seven down. Mark Urban, that ninety-one, charging hard. 
trying to put himself in victory lane and get some bragging rights against Tyler. Here we are, Mark Herb driving it in deep. Gonna push a little bit, open the door for McNorton. Cross flags halfway home. At the stripes, gonna be nine more to go. Pena, Herb, and McNorton. I tell you folks, we may only have three tonight in the street stocks, but I can guarantee you, and I'd almost put money on this being right now tonight, one of the raciest street stock features we've had in probably about a month's time because Mark Herb has his car dialed in at first class septic number 91, charging, trying to get something going. He's got Pena in the entrance of the corner and midway through, but doesn't have enough drive on the exit. spoke a little too soon. We call it the commentator's curse. We see it a lot in baseball. The moment you start talking about a pitcher getting a perfect game or a no hitter, it doesn't take long after that. And there it goes. Unfortunate there for Mark Herber, the 91. But Jason Pena is going to have to hold on and hold strong for five more laps. to go for holy moly Jason Pinion of 77 Jesse McNorton J Mac trying to change it right now as a white flag waves four more corners Pinion through one and two down the back shoot we go nice and smooth through turns three and four ladies and gentlemen put it together for the 77 of Jason Pena. He's setting the pace through turns three and four, chasing the checker down at turn four, the hammer's down, it's showtime. Zane Goff gets a great run and turns one and two to make a run down the back shoot. Trying to fight their way around and get a groove with Estes and Black. And the 12 of Corey Babbitt. Babbitt's trying to shuffle around. And we've got one stopped on the entrance of turn number two. The lights are out. Here we are trying it once again. Looking for the old green flag on a turn number four.
for that third place spot. Estes trying to hold off, hard charging. 71 of Mr. Marcus Black. spot his first night out here in 2021 Danny Estes been working on trying to get the sport mod back together for a little over a year and right now that time has been what he needed to get it right where he wanted as fast enough, so here comes a 12 of Corey Babbitt. Corey Babbitt going to have to try to finesse this thing very nicely to get underneath Black and get a run in the gap between he and Estes for that third and fourth place position. But ladies and gentlemen, out front, pole sitter, 164, Jason Downey going to try to go flag to flag. He picked up the heat race win. remaining. Time is running out for Bridges to track down Downey. Marcus Black was able to get around the 183 of Danny Estes on that last lap. He's going to solidify it as he crosses the stripe. Estes, though, not giving up. to say on in one six four holding on holding strong randy bridges though working that middle groove of the racing surface trying to run every little bit of moisture out of that line to get the drive he needs to track down downey but right now downey is in another zip code Traffic may come into play here as Downey works his way on a turn number four down the back chute coming to five laps to go. 15 down, five more to go. We've got a yellow out as the 12 of Corey Babbitt comes to a stop at top of turn number two. We are looking for the green and we're going to find it. Marcus Black's going to take a great run there on that restart, trying to track down the 164 of Jason Downing. The 751 of Marcus Black. Black 
Flag started P6, third row outside before the green flag dropped. We lost the C3 of Chad Comer. And on the first lap, we lost the 42 of Zane Goff. So that shifted the whole front row up a few spots. And Black is trying to make It worked for him. Here we are. Hold our breath. White flag. We're going to find it as we make it. One more lap and four more turns for the 164 of Jason Downey. As we go with Souza and LeCop setting the pace. We are green flag racing. And we're going to tangle up and hit the wall. 17 of Buxton darts it. Before they move into the starting zone. And here we are on the exit, green flag racing. Lewis Harris almost loses it on his own, but finds the tractor tire, and it doesn't move, especially when it's full of water. So we're going to find the exit and see the green. Let's go racing. Johnny Brown trying to get to the inside of the 34. Lacombe. Lacombe's a little off the pace on the start. Don't know if he's going to be like a diesel engine in the winter and be slow to go, but we're going to find out as we look to go one lap down. Asher's going to use him up on the exit. And now McIntyre working there with the out outside of LeCompte. B51, Johnny Brown, a little slider on the exit of turn number four in front of the zero of Kevin Carl. That's how Johnny Brown took the lead in his heat. He's going to see if he can work it and work it and work it for him here in the feature. But right now, Highlands, Texas native, opens the door. Sousa wide on the exit. B-5-1, Johnny Brown out of Mauriceville, Texas. We've got the 5-5 of Nolan up on the shelf to bring out our caution. breath on the start. Single file restart this time. B51 Johnny Brown had to revert back to P2 as we went back to the last completed lap. So he's going to have to try to do it again. It's to the starting zone. Waits Three quarters of the way through to send them loose and we're back underway with two down and 18 more to go. Forty-six of Dawson Fisher started fourth row outside P8. Already worked his way now into the second place spot after three laps. So we're going to have to see if the B51 of Johnny Brown will be able to keep. Oh, they got one around, two around on their own in the back of the pack. Will they keep it going? Lewis Harris does, but the 27 of Blaine Estes is going to bring out the caution. Buzzing, here we are. B51, Johnny Brown set some loose. Willie Veach with a great start, looking to the inside of Kevin Carl. Carl with a great run on the entrance of turn number one and two, but will Veach have the exit? No, it's going to be the zero of Kevin Carl. Carl's going to give it up. Will he cross it over on the exit? No, he will not. Your third place spot will now be the 41 of Mr. Willie Veach. flag on the 5-5 of James Nolan exits the racing service. We do stay clean and green.
and gentlemen, LeCompte's going to get turned by Land going into turn number three. And Addy Light, and we're going to try to finish this one out. So we make it clean and green on the restart lap, looking at seven down, 13 more to go. Johnny Brown Jr. in the B51 out front, holding on, holding strong. Here comes a big rattle for the third, excuse me, second place spot. If I could count, 46. Dawson Fisher works on by Willie Veach earlier, but now Willie Veach looks to be doing his best to get on by the 46 of Fisher. Veach started towards the back of the pack. Inside of row number five, Pete number nine, driving it all the way up, battling for the second place position, 41-46. Cup sticks. And Mark Asher is going to bring out our caution here on lap number nine. And here we are, trying it once again, nine laps down, looking to go cross flags halfway home. The restart is not what Dawson Fisher wanted as Willie Veach in the 41 is about to make things difficult for him. At the flag stand, Fisher was Four tenths of a second and a round goes one by himself. That's the 27. Again of Estes, caution flag comes out. Two yellows equals a black flag. We'll see if it continues here as the green flag is back out. And we are underway. That's going to be Josh Souza. He's going to sit and bring out the caution. All right. So here we are trying to hold it on and keep it clean and green once again with 10 laps to go. Trying to get a good run here with the 46 of Fisher. As Asher is going to scrub the 44 of McIntyre. Wide flag has way. B51, Johnny Brown Jr. Trying to hold on. He's got two more corners standing in the way. And a turn number four. Put it together, Johnny. on the radio and Ellender sets them loose on the exit and we're us factory stocks Make it clean and green for lap number one. 88 of Jason Pena Jr. almost gets up to the door of the old paraphernalia. 
Jason Pena, holy moly himself in the one teeth, the one and two, gonna try to gather it back up. Montgomery in the number four, looking to the inside of the 116 of James Bryant, through turns one and two down the back shoot. Montgomery's gonna give him a little bit of a room as we are only two, three laps down, 17 more to go. Montgomery's gonna get it there on the exit of turn number four in the number four. Seventeen more to go. Ellender sets them loose in the middle of the start zone, and we are green flag racing. Forty-four D is going to sling it wide, send that back end into Montgomery, and we're going to wall up from fourth place back. One thirty-one to Singletary is going to give a little love tap to Bryant as the chain reaction from the 126 of Thompson into turns three and four. No harm, no foul. We do stay clean and green. Thompson sends it to the infield. He's gonna gather it back up. Missed the tractor tire and hit the other tractor tire, but gets it going. Caution flag does not come out. One twenty-six of Thompson's gonna exit the racing surface after that one. Back up front we go, ladies and gentlemen. Five one of Daniel Seals. Here comes a one sixteen of Bryant. Bryant trying to make a move here on the five one of Daniel Seals out of Shepherd, Texas. But here comes the four of Kenneth Cape. Oh, Montgomery. Slinging the car in there, getting it pointed towards the exit as we've got Moffat Coon around and turns three and four. And Ellender's gonna start it at the beginning of the start zone. And not many people paying attention. A few of them are asleep at the start. Forty-four D of Dawson Smith hung on the outside, trying to get back to the inside groove. Thirty-one's gonna go around. Looking issues for the one sixteen on that restart, and he's gonna scrub the seventy-seven. And 131 of Singletary gets into the 116, spins himself out and takes Olin Holder with him. And restart, it's gonna be good and clean right now. Let's see who's gonna take advantage of the field getting grouped back up. Montgomery with a good jump here to the inside of the 5-1 of Daniel Seals. Will it hold? It looks to do so as it's a drag race to three and four. Montgomery's gonna lock it down around the tires, catfishing on the Angelina River. Montgomery and Seals door to door, out of turn number two, down the back chute. Issues on the 131 and turns one and two. And here we are looking for the green flag once again. Ellender fires in the start zone, keeping everybody guessing. Reworking to the inside of Seals once again. Pena to the inside of Bryant. Pena's gonna give Bryant the corner in three and four. Gather it back up, reassess for another attack. Dog 
Dawson Smith in the 44D holding that third place spot, not giving Seals much room. Here is Montgomery trying to still get to the inside line of the 5 1 of Daniel Seals. Cross flags, nine left. It has been all Ellender from the first green flag and from every green flag on the restart since. Trying to hold on and hold strong and keep things rolling in his favor as the laps wind down, eight more left. He's got himself about a straightaway between he and the 193 of Philip Seals and the 44D in the third place spot of Dawson Smith. Montgomery's going to go in there a little hard. Didn't stick on entry. 5-1. No harm, no foul. Maintains control. Montgomery to the inside. 5-1 of Seals. Loose on the exit. Pushes just a little bit. Opens the door for the number four. Two laps remain here in this one. 44D holding up traffic. Dawson Smith. Montgomery trying to look to the inside line. Lap traffic here for the 50 of Josh Ellender. 77 of Jaden Pena. 39 of Olin Holder, the fourth. Josh is going to try to sit tight. Can't go up any further. Checkered flag on out for the 5-0 of Josh Ellender. And we are green flag racing for the first time in our pier stock. Rooster Warman's going to dive it on down to the bottom. Rooster's trying to crow early on in this one. Seven twenty-five of Destiny Burton. No, all over the place there in turns three and four. Better. Michael Burden in the 725 driving for Destiny this weekend. A few driver changes. Mike Burton there. 47 is Brandon Martin.
issues there off the pace. 7G of Randall Noble. Cribs is going to get on by. Martin looks to get on by. Martin now trying to squeeze right between the two. And we stay clean and green. here for the fourth place. Brandon Martin's going to look to the inside. Going to try to lock the outside down and pin him to the bottom. Not going to happen as Martin's going to escape down the front stretch. It's going to stay door to door. Both drivers on the brakes trying to not give either an inch as Martin's going to have the whole shot going into turns three and four. Krebs is going to look down to the bottom to try to get that one back. Not going to be there at 47. Brandon Martin here all alone in the fourth place spot. William Krebs now here battling with the 7G. Noble trying to get on by on the inside of the 45 of Krebs. He's testing out the bottom, trying to be the brave Sir Robin. Looking to be noble as he can in the 7G. Seven laps to go. Nathan Renfro out front in the 911 started out on the pole out of Houston, Texas. Trying to find his way back to victory lane. He started this season hotter than a Dutch oven with grandma's biscuits on Sunday morning. And trying to get back in the groove. goes around in three and four. We do stay clean and green. Seven two five of Mike Burton. Gosh, and fun comes out. All right, lights are in. Here we are on the restart. Nathan Renfro leads them at a turn number four down the front stretch. Dog hits the water, pushes up the track, goes down to the infield. And the second place spot's now going to be the 49 of Rooster Wardman. Comes the 7G and Noble looking down to the Nate Dog gonna three and four lap down, but gonna finish this one out. Three laps. Forty-seven of Brandon Martin hits the slick and goes back up as well. Nate Dog goes way high that time. 
As we are now two laps to go for your race leader. Battle here shaping up here with the 45 of William Cribs and the 7G of Randall Noble. Noble's going to go through the middle of it. He's going to push up. And now that battle for position is going to be all for naught as the white flag waves here for the 911 of Nathan Renfro. Checkered flag waving on the 9-11 of Nathan Renfro.